So everybody, please make some noise for Lacey Sturm. Let's go. Surprise, surprise. How are you guys feeling out there? We need, we need, <laughs> what's up, Reflect? Welcome back, cool shirt. I love you guys. You know, it's such a surprise to be here. I wanted, We wanted to be here, but we didn't think we'd be able to make it. And then look, who knows what's going to happen with my life. I never know. So this is Josh. Y'all know Josh. He's wearing the same shirt as you. <laughs> this is Reflect Love Back. That's the um, online community we started to learn about the Bible. You know, so many people talk about what truth is. And it all sounds different. But there's a way to know what the truth is. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the truth is what makes you free. And we don't have to guess. That's the cool thing. If we study the scripture for ourselves, we don't have to believe what one person says and this person says and whatever. You can know yourself. That's a cool thing about having the scripture. And that's what makes you free. You're free to know God yourself. No, let's start to talk. Josh is like, we're not here to talk today. It's your fault because you're wearing that Reflect Love Back shirt. It says Josh. So, okay, that's what it's about, reflecting love back. This song is, is one of the Reflect Love Back songs that we wrote. There's a soundtrack to the study that we did. Soundtrack Volume 1. It's on Spotify if you want to look it up. It's called Reflect Love Back Soundtrack. And this is one of the songs on there. And um, I, t I talked yesterday or the other day on the Suicide Awareness um, day or it was a um, really really amazing minister and and leader in suicide prevention took his own life it made me so angry at that at suicide because if you know my story how many of you out here know my story and struggle with people that know and understand what I've been through. You all have a story, and it's humbling to know that you all know mine, but your story is just as important. So this song actually was a song that I wrote when I was struggling. You know, one of the first places that I uh, saw in the Bible about somebody struggling with suicide was when I read the story of Jesus in the desert. Satan tempted him with suicide. He said, jump off this high place, and if you do, God will catch you. And he said, I'm not going to test God like that. But the scriptures say, don't put the Lord, your God, to the test. Not like that. And we do that in little ways. You know, people always have any all kinds of things to say about suicide, but the truth is, every time you choose death, and if you choose sin, God says sin is not to control you. If he wanted to control you, he wouldn't let you sin. He gives you freedom to choose life or to choose death. Every choice we make for death is a suicide in the spirit a little bit. It's a choice for death on purpose. We know it. Sometimes we don't know it. I said before you, life and death. And then he tells us, now choose life so you will live. Asking us. That's why Jesus died, so we can live. He died and rose from the dead, so you don't have to die. Because we have death almost where it follows us around. It follows as soon as we're born. Death is chasing us. That's a lyric from a Flatleaf song. As soon as we're born, death starts chasing us. But Jesus said, I'm going to die for you, so you can live. You can live and you can overcome death. Watch me overcome it. I'm going to overcome it. Watch me. I'm going to rate on the third day. Watch me. I'm going to overcome death. And watch. If you ask me to live inside of you, you will overcome death too. Yeah, we do have the freedom to choose death. You know why? Because in, unless we have that freedom... We can't choose life on purpose out of love. Without freedom, we can't love. So you have to have the freedom to love on purpose. Love from your heart. Love genuinely. 
And if we love God, we'll obey him. And he told us, choose life. And sometimes people lose that struggle against the enemy of your soul that wants you dead. You know why the enemy wants you dead? He's scared of you. He's scared of you figuring out who you really are. You are created to be a palace for the king of kings. You're created to be a mighty, awesome, powerful child of the most high God in the earth. And the devil's afraid of you figuring that out. And he doesn't want you to make it. But God believes in you. And he's giving you this time to learn who you are. To be challenged and to overcome those challenges. To prove the devil wrong every time he accuses you and says, they'll do this if you do this. If you don't give them that, they won't love you anymore. If this happens, they won't follow you. And, and, and they're not going to make it. And Jesus is standing right by the Father saying, I've made a way for them to make it. And he's telling you, come to me if you're weary and heavy burden. I will give you rest for your soul. My burden is easy. My yoke is light. I'm not going to leave you an orphan. Jesus didn't go up to heaven and leave us here on our own. Before he went up there in his physical body, he told the disciples, I'm not going to leave you orphans. I'm sending you my Holy Spirit, my ghost, my Holy Ghost to live in you if you ask me. You come to me, I'll give you my Holy Ghost, and you will do greater things than you saw me do. What? That's real. That's the Bible. You know how I know that? Because the Bible says it. Not because I heard it from a preacher. Although, there's a lot of preachers who say that, and there's a lot of preachers who say that's not true. But guess what? You can read for yourself where our faith comes from. It's rooted in this amazing thing that God gave us. He's not going to leave us orphans. You don't have to figure it out by yourself. We're never alone. And when we figure that out and close our eyes and realize there's a spiritual realm inside of us that's bigger than anything we can see out here, then we'll come to life. We'll come to life out here too. This song's called, what's that song's called? I don't remember. This song is off other, huh? It's called, I Love Your Promises. And it's about my struggle with suicide. And it's about Jesus' struggle with suicide. No, 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 his overcoming. And my overcoming. He said if I jump, he said if I throw myself down, that angels would catch me. He's quoting your promises. Your promises come from your love and show how you've trusted us. And I will test you on purpose like I don't trust your love. Demons dancing me 
never come to me And if they hated you, then they will hate me too So I can take heart and overcome with you I won't test you on purpose Like I don't trust your mother Cause I love your promises I'm not gonna use your love that way I won't abuse the gift you get Cause I love your promises Oh, I love your promises I love your promises Thank you, Jesus, for giving us promises, God I pray you help us to overcome. Thank you, God. <laughs> this next song is called Justice and Mercy. Um, we wrote this song with our military in mind. How many military families do we have out here? I want to thank you guys for being brave and being strong and overcoming. There's a good fight out there to fight, and I'm thankful for you. And yeah, there's a real spirit, real battle going on in the physical world, but there's a spiritual battle going on underneath. And I think when we overcome in the spirit, then the physical will come in alignment with what we overcame in the spirit. And that's really powerful too and important. song off the Life Screams album. How many people have the Life Scream? Thank you guys for, for getting that album. That was um, one of the funnest things I've ever gotten to do. My husband and I wrote a bunch of songs together. And um, this is one of the ones we wrote in our living room. Just sitting still and thinking about some really sad things. <laughs> and um, I remember 
through seeing somebody online that I love and care about that actually had a really amazing message for a lot of people at one point. And this person just sort of like, I guess this, I guess they didn't start, started just forgot how amazing they were and forgot how beautiful of an opportunity they had to impact other people. And I kept thinking, when this person comes back to their senses, they're going to be so sad about what they're, they're sharing and what they're showing people. And I thought about my own life and times when I have been the worst version of myself. And I can't take it back. It's out there for everybody to see, you know? And, and I was... And I was thinking about this song when we were recording it for Reflect Love Back. Because it's a Reflect Love Back song now. And um, I couldn't relate to it because I was so far away from that time in my life. I was like, and I have to mean what I sing. I'm like, I just can't can't feel the song and so I was praying I was like God help me feel this song the way you want and he and I was like and the Lord, I felt like the Lord started speaking to me and he's like this is my song this is about me when everything sacred was was laid bare on the cross Jesus hung naked and bleeding and shamed on the cross and I thought about my own shame that he carried it there he knows what it's like to be shamed that's what happened on the cross It's called Sacred. I know it seems like there's nothing sacred anymore, and the world is dark, lit up with open flames of war, and it's such an empty place. When longing for human praise They walk away, I'm left wide open And my heart bleeds and breaks wide open I hear there's a sacred place Just within heaven's gates If only heaven's gates were There's nothing sacred anymore Just my salty tears and broken heart Was all I wore A fairy tale end for me Was all I was hoping for But these hateful scenes play out Like songs about divorce I hear there's a sacred place just within heaven's gates If only heaven's gates were open If only heaven's gates were open But all I have to broken hearts And all I do is fall apart If only heaven's gates were open If only heaven's gates were The blessing you gave And you saw the sad ways That I answered in my pain But the truth in my soul That you hid in a way Is the grace of a love For exceeding my shame There is a sacred place just within heaven's gates And love has pushed the gates wide open And love has pushed the gates wide open So here I come with all my heart Waiting for my life to start
was sunny when I was singing that song, all I could think about was that guy, Jared. His name's Jared. Jared Wilson. And he's the one that um, took his life. And I was just thinking about how amazing it is that suicide doesn't undo what Christ did on the cross. Is that, you know, and I think that's something we got into a discussion online with somebody who, about whether or not Jared would go to heaven. You know, there is a scripture that I really like, and it says, don't say who's going to go to heaven or who's not, because it's to bring Christ down and to bring him up. It's like saying you have a place to say it. In our own salvation, we work out with fear and trembling. But I think it's really beautiful to know that suicide doesn't, take, doesn't destroy what Christ did for us on the cross to rescue us. And that's amazing. It's not, it doesn't win. It's not a winner. It doesn't defeat the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It doesn't defeat his love that he can never be separated from. It doesn't defeat him. This song's called You're Not Alone. It's been hard for me to breathe for such a long time. I only stayed so I could hold you, maybe ease your mind. I can't hold you anymore. I can feel your heart is breaking as I let go And it hurts me to be leaving But you must know I can't hold you anymore Tonight And when no one else can save you
Josh and I just celebrated 11 years of marriage. And I really like him. And it's not when everything is great that I know he loves me the most. It's when I'm the worst version of myself and he stays and says, I'm not going anywhere. That's when I know he loves me. And that's how Jesus is. It's called faith. Laughter tickles my tongue. A breathless chase has begun. I'm gonna let you win. Catch me, I'm falling in love. Oh, what have I done? I love how you gamble your pride. Amazed how strong you are. You risk looking in my eyes and let me melt your heart.
show you shut up and stay sleeping with my sleeping in your itchy I'm so sick and sexy with where I live. Let me live without this empty place.
Thank you, Lacey. Thank you, 